Recording in progress. All right, so what's up? Hey. <laughs> so uh, I got Alexis Miller on the line. She's super nervous, put her on the spot, made her get in here and do this for me. And so uh, just give us an introduction of yourself, who you are, where you're from, uh, what'd you do before coming to Symmetry? Uh, yeah, so my name is Alexis Miller. Um, I am from Washington, but I live in Montana now. Uh, and before Symmetry, I flagged in construction for about almost eight years. Just waving people by. Yeah, it was a it was a tough job, <laughs> physically yeah, and tell. mentally. Probably probably a lot of armpit sweat. Yes, guys, <laughs> I wanted to get in the truck with you. <laughs> no, so uh, what made you decide to? leave flagging to try something different like what what made you want to jump into symmetry or an independent contractor position um well i had i knew for a while that i didn't want to flag anymore it was just i i hated it um just the job itself and the hours and everything but i when we moved to montana i i had seen a post, um, I think on ZipRecruiter from Alex, and it just kind of caught my eye because it was like, you know, being able to like be my own boss, kind of work my own hours. Um, that kind of whole thing really intrigued me and, and just trying something different. And after I had like our little interview one-on-one -on -one thing, he, I don't know, it just, it sounded kind of like a, a good fit for me. And it really kind of, pulled me in so and uh you're, you're relatively new here how long have you been here um i want to say it started back in early march so five months maybe and you were unlicensed so you had to go through the exam fx course and do all that how how annoying are all those uh questions and chapters um well i mean everything was just so new to me it was just a totally different you know, line of work. So I, it was all new. It was just trying to retain all that new information. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, so you I don't struggled. come from an, you don't come from like a sales background or any type of insurance. You just, <laughs> we did, we didn't have whistles, but yeah, pretty you much. I, down I, cars, I, yeah. them out. I told you to stop. <laughs> now I'm going to, when you said being your own boss, like kind of captivated you or what, what did that look like to you? Was it scary at all? Or what did that mean to you? Um, yeah, it was a little scary just because I, I've always worked under somebody. I've never known any different. And I, uh, change has always been kind of a huge, you know, something that's, that scared me. And, but I, we made the move to move to Montana from Washington and that was a huge change. And it was such a great thing that I was kind of in that boat. Well, like, I feel like good things always come out of change. So that's kind of why I thought that this would be like a good fit. Yeah, reward is usually on the other side of risk, fear, suffering, anything like that. And you, I'm a big proponent of suffering, just hitting your rock bottom. I think it calluses your mind and forces you to grow. Yeah, I agree. Uh, just for anybody new that might be coming onto your team in the future, new people in symmetry that might see this, what were some of the, like your thoughts in your mind as far as being your own boss, being in charge of your own schedule? How did you make like those necessary arrangements to manage a good life work balance? Like, what did that look like for you? Because you also worked a second, you also were working a second job a few weeks ago before you were fortunate enough to quit jump in here full time um yeah i mean i'm still working on it but i think the biggest thing is to make a schedule and like be disciplined with it like total accountability at google i call google calendar my boss <laughs> yeah I'm not the boss google calendar is it tells me what to do when to eat sleep drink or poop yes so. um yeah so i just like the calendar is probably the biggest thing um to stick to as far as like being your own boss and just, you know, having that discipline to do so. 
And now what was the second job you were working like kind of part-time when you were getting started here? Um, it was like a waitress at one of the, the hot springs resort here in Montana. So you just basically taking people's orders, bringing them out food, stuff like that. And, uh, what kind of money did you make over there? What kind of hours did you work? Um, well, it was, I think t I got up to $10 an hour. Um, and there was tips, but I was always working mostly like night shifts, which was just, yeah, I, I didn't like it. And then trying to balance, like I'm more of a morning person anyways, but trying to balance that with this, you know, we're trying to do all this all day, but then I have to stop dialing or whatever so I can go get ready and head to the resort to work. So, and what kind of money did you make over there on like a weekly and monthly basis? Well, I was, I think I was only part time, and I think my my checks might have just been just barely over two hundred dollars for two weeks. So you're bringing so, maybe four or five hundred bucks a month yeah. over there, maybe five or six hundred depending on tips, stuff like that. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, I would say probably around six. So you're, you were making that every two weeks or you were making five to 600 bucks a month being a waitress. And what have you noticed as far as, since I helped you kind of make a transition into full-time over here, I know you've made a tremendous, like overcoming all the other stuff, getting your license, all of that, managing the stress. And then you became a season new agent, saw that this was possible, you could make some money. Like, what did that kind of look like for you when you got that uh, first deposit from a carrier in your bank? It was I felt like a little schoolgirl. <laughs> I was all, <laughs> all excited about it. But I mean, I definitely couldn't have done it. You guys all um, helped me, you know, tremendously throughout it. So it was, it was definitely a team effort, but um, yeah, it was, it was exciting. And Getting how that. much better is the money from maybe even just one policy of protecting a family compared to a month of working at Quinn's? Um, yeah, I think even just with, you know, even a smaller policy, I got more than I worked in two weeks there, so... And that was just, you know, that well, was imagine money. just other waitresses in your position or whatever at that time. You're making more in one day than they might in a whole month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And imagine that on a daily basis, you're getting paid just random deposits, five, six hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, fifty bucks. It how does that feel now? Kind of um, seeing some of that better income. Yeah, it's, it's exciting. I, I mean, I was definitely hesitant about it, like, but I kind of just felt like I like leaned in as much as I could and, you know, got as much help as I could. Cause I, you know, everybody knows we need that. So, um, yeah, but, but yeah. Do you feel like this is a pretty, uh, pretty replicatable process or duplicatable here at Symmetry? I know they say just trust the system. How, how do you feel that's worked out for you and like myself being under my team? Um, yeah, I feel like it's been great. Uh, and I definitely, I feel like if I can do it, most anybody can do it. So, <laughs> well, I was the same. I've, I've been a machinist, concrete guy, whatever. It, I was never very good with people. And I just kind of quit my last job coming here full time. And I've had some pretty good months. Yeah. I'll say that. Uh, what would your biggest piece of advice for newer agents coming in, maybe that have no experience in sales or this field of work whatsoever? Um, I would just say, I know like when I first started, I was really kind of nervous about like having to call um, like you or Alex or anybody. Like I kind of- I'm going to be mad if you don't call. I was trying to figure things out on my own, but I felt like that made it harder at times and so definitely to like lean into your upline um you know take their advice and and ask questions ask yeah, if, you know your ego kind of dies off here you learn uh 
you're not the you can't reinvent the wheel here or something in place here that already works pretty good and I find anytime you stray from it you start losing money or wasting leads whatever yeah and uh what have you noticed as far as lead purchasing like have you found a direct correlation between how much you spend on leads or invest in your leads as compared to what you might make um yeah i mean I, I feel like i'm still kind of like getting i feel like i've gotten a lot better with like the dialing and setting appointments and stuff but i i still am working on it and maybe we'll oh, be you're for still a doing while. good you're setting 10 to 20 appointments a week and uh what do you typically spend a week in leads um i think average would be anywhere at least 500 maybe five to seven. And have you seen like a good return on investment as far as spending that much? I know a lot of people just see like $500, $1,000. It, it, that's scary to most people. They think it's a cost, but it, it's an investment in your business. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely. It you definitely, notice that if you spend less money on leads, you kind of have less appointments for the week, less people to sit with, or the more you spend, the more people you get to talk to. Yeah. And you're not dialing through all your leads in, you know, one day or one dialing session or whatever. You still have time to. Yeah. You can kind of watch your own. Bunch. You can buy your production here. Yeah. A lot of people say that. So I just wanted the perspective of someone kind of newer into this business. And well, so, yeah, thanks what for do you putting feel me like? Spot. <laughs> you're welcome. What, what do you feel like the. Was it scary kind of leaving something, maybe like salary, stuff like that for something commission where you're not guaranteed no income at all? Yes. And and what's your mindset on that now? You kind of get paid what you're worth? Yeah. I mean, as long as I I'm I put in the work to do it, um, then I don't have I don't have to worry about it. So that's really all there is to it. I mean, you just kind of if you're if you're not willing to put in the work then yeah I could see why it would be scary to be yeah, I think this isn't some place where this isn't a company where you can just come by and ride on the shoulders of people you just recruit and things like other IMOs or insurance companies whatever you, you kind of got to check both boxes here production and recruiting and so I know you're about to start doing all that but uh I just wanted to congratulate you on your current success. You've been kicking ass here. So I'm I'm blessed to have you on my team. I know I'll put you on the spot for this. <laughs> so, but I appreciate it. You, you got any like last minute advice or anything for anyone new? Like out of our uh, core values here, what do you think is the most important? Um, I don't know. They're all pretty important. Uh, but I would say like relentless pursuit of personal growth um, is probably just because I feel like when you're when you're working on yourself, everything kind of tends to fall in place when you're working on bettering yourself. I don't know. No, that, that makes perfect sense. Well, uh, Alexis, I appreciate it. So I'm in this. Thank you. Thank you.